Thank you for watching. Today we are going to cover the basic equipment needed for shooting videos. So this is just a beginner's guide to make high quality videos with just a couple pieces of equipment. So first of all, why video? I just want to point out just a few pretty staggering statistics that if you're not already sold on why you need video, hopefully this will set you over the edge. Number one is audience retention. Viewers retain 95% of a message when they watch it in a video as compared to 10% when reading it in text. That's really powerful. Also, video has become a necessity when it comes to marketing. In fact, 93% of today's marketers use video in some way, shape, or form. And then lastly, but I think the most important is the no like trust factor. Videos attract 300% more traffic and help to nurture your leads. If your leads are seeing you on camera, the no like trust factor comes a lot faster. So now I'm gonna show you just a couple tricks to get your phone video ready. Now on your settings tab within your phone, you're gonna go down to camera. And when you find that camera icon, you click on that. First thing I wanna point out is the grid. Make sure that's toggled on. And here I'm gonna show you what that helps you do. So if you're shooting a video, it actually will show you where your lines match up. So that way you're getting a nice square shot as opposed to being off kilter. Secondly, I want you to look at record video. Now, as you work your way down this list, the higher quality your video will be. There is a caveat though. Make sure you understand that the higher you go up, the more memory that it will be storing on your phone. Now, honestly, I have been shooting videos for years and to this day, this is mostly what I use. So all you need to get started is a cell phone and some natural light, which we'll talk about more in just a second. So here I wanna show you actually what a difference your lighting makes. Now here, I have my back turned to a window. Now you can see when I turn around the difference in the quality of the video just by surrounding myself with natural light. Now here I've drawn the shades, it's a little bit darker, but what I'm gonna show you now is if I use something called a ring light, which we'll talk about. This is great if you don't have access to natural light and you just need a little bit more pop to your video. But again, looking at natural light, even compared to the ring light, you can see the difference. So always, always use natural light as much as you can. Now I'm gonna to touch on just a few pieces of additional equipment that is, again, not completely necessary, but it can take your videos up to that next level. So let's talk about the tripod on the far left. The tripod, which honestly nowadays you can find anywhere from $20 upwards to probably around 75 for a good one. This tripod helps to keep your camera steady while allowing you to have your hands free. And what's great is you can adjust the heights and you can also put it in both vertical and or landscape mode. Second up, I touched on this already, is the ring light. Now these, depending on the size, they do come smaller size. Uh, I wanna say maybe like 12, 10 to 12 inches is the smallest one, upwards to 20 plus inches. These will range anywhere from around $25 for a smaller one to 150 for a, a nice large one. Again, these are great if you really don't have access to natural light or you do your videos more in the evening. This is a great alternative and it really makes a difference in the quality of video. Next up, I have the wireless mic. Now, I'm sure you've watched videos before where you can barely hear the person speaking. Usually when you distance yourself from your phone, the quality in the audio goes way down. This is just a really fairly inexpensive way to make sure that your audio is always spot on. And you know, if you tend to do videos, that keep you a little bit further away from your phone or camera, this is also great. And these will range you, honestly, from around maybe $40 to, again, upwards of over 100 plus, depending on the quality and the type that you're gonna get. And then lastly, this is a, a gimbal. And what the gimbal does is it really helps with smoothing out sort of that shaky hand 
feature that you might see in a lot of videos. So if you are one to take videos when you're walking or moving around quite a bit, these are great because it really smooths that out for you and makes the quality of your videos look a lot more professional. When in doubt, what I always want to reiterate is that your confidence, the value that you are bringing to your audience, and above all things, we know good lighting is what's going to make your video stand out. Most people, when they do start out, they're just using a phone. And I know a lot of entrepreneurs or professionals nowadays that still just are using their smartphones. The quality of the pixels is amazing and it doesn't require too much more equipment. So just remember that confidence, make sure you're adding value to your audience's lives and always go for that natural lighting. And I just wanna end with a quote by Seth Godin where it says, marketing is no longer about the stuff that you sell, but about the stories you tell. When in doubt, know that what you are selling is your story, your brand, what your practice is all about and why you do what you do. Now, if you haven't checked out our other videos when it comes to the benefits of video and or how to be comfortable and confident in video, make sure to check those out. I think they'll be really helpful.